What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing our last player of the week review until eFootball comes out next Thursday. So this is going to be the last one, Rafinha, Diaz, Correa and a couple of others. We do have confirmation that this looks to be some sort of the new color scheme. I have a full video up on that. If you guys haven't checked it out, please do. We go into a lot of detail with this video and we talk about kind of the future of eFootball, right? So I'm going to make this short and sweet as our last eFootball 2024 player of the week really i wasn't going to do it we did spin on our secondary account this is our road to glory we got one free spin which is Turam, and i think we got anguisa as well two spins one free one for 100 you've got pope katama you've got um correa maitland niles rafinha nunez coco virman diaz and of course Turam, as we said there right so straight off the bat lads goalkeepers and uh, this left midfielder well pope is is fairly okay i mean he's tall he's strong um, but yeah, I mean, I would never get too excited about goalkeepers because once you have one of the best goalkeepers in the game, and if you don't, Courtois or Oblak Standard Edition or Donnarumma are going to be enough for you. Maitland-Niles, I don't think you're going to get too excited about him as well. His balance is poor, his tie possession is poor. He's not a bad defensive uh, or an attacking right back. Those Leon kits look kind of spicy, you know? I might get one of those. But he does have good skills, but yeah, he can play everywhere. Left back, right back, left mid, uh, right mid dmf and amf it's a fairly nice card kind of reminds me of lorente uh just a little bit faster and not as good and not as good defensively correa again somebody that's kind of slept through and uh kind of gone under the radar a lot as well he does have some nice skills fighting uh, spirit and super sub is always nice true passing is always nice double touch is always nice uh balance and tight possession are quite nice as well but these cards lads you can't train them up you can't really do anything with the with the cards you know you can't train them in different positions or anything he can't play left wing I would say, yeah, if you get him, he's not going to make too much of a difference for you. This guy is interesting. He's only 22 years of age. He is a beast. He's playing for sport in Lisbon, being compared to kind of like Cristiano, even though a little, little bit more creative. I haven't seen much of him in real life, but I've seen a couple of clips online. He scored again the other day. Good balance, good kick and power, acceleration, speed, ball control, dribbling, and tight possession. Just no real finishing or, uh, or passing. But it's not the worst. I mean, with the manager boost and stuff, it won't be too bad. We also have Anguiza. So this guy is pretty decent as a box-to-box. -box. He's on A-form, obviously. He gets the booster as well. Hard worker, plus three. One-touch pass, track back, way to pass, interception. Area superiority and slide and tackle. He also has double touch and scissors faint and heading. But he doesn't have blocker. So you'll need to have a look at that. But yeah, it's a very solid card, man. Very, very decent. Speed, acceleration, physical contact is very, very nice. Aggression is going to go and get that plus three with the new managers, that ADA proficiency managers. So pretty decent as well. I wouldn't sleep on him. I've played with him and I've enjoyed him. Rafinha. So Rafinha scored a hat-trick for Barcelona the other day. He gets the booster. His balance lets him down. His low pass lets him down as a whole player. And the fact that he can't play as an attacking midfielder. Now, I reckon that there's going to be a reason why these cards are whole player. Because I reckon they're going to change how these cards actually act. If that makes sense. Um, and all will probably be revealed next Thursday. So he does look like a fairly decent card. That is the card I wanted to get. But to be honest with you, I mean, that 90 finishing, 90 dribbling and uh, acceleration and speed over 90 looks pretty decent. But as a whole player that has to play left or right wing or left mid, it's kind of a waste because his play style is not going to work as effectively. Veerman, again, another center midfielder box to box, nothing to shout home about, lads. He does have blocker, which is nice. This guy is kind of underrated as well. He is playing for PSV now, but again, I wouldn't really get too excited about him. And then, yeah, it's, it's kind of a save your coins kind of week, lads, honestly. It, it is, in my opinion, it's save your coins. Nunes as well is very average as a creative playmaker. There's just so many better players out there than him. You also have Coco there as well as a CB um, as a build-up centre-back. Fairly okay. I mean, his speed is over 80. His defensive stats are okay. Um, but yeah, to be honest with you, you need more if you're going to be playing meta Toram is not bad he kind of reminds me of Oshiman um very very decent in the air tall strong fast his balance is a killer his type possession is a killer but his finishing doesn't go to 90 so that's a bit of a problem and then of course you have Diaz so Diaz is down he's going to have his his dribbling his ball control his finishing his speed his acceleration and his kicking power all either up at 90 over 90 or as close to 90 as 88 89 I do think this is a good card honestly I think this is a very very strong card as a winger he can play right or left He's very fun to dribble with. Big problem with him is his balance and he can't pass and he doesn't have any real passing skills, but you can't give him flip-flap either so he doesn't have advanced double touch. Um, but yeah, it's it's a pretty decent card. But all in all, lads, I would definitely wait to see what eFootball is going to be giving us, what eFootball is going to be giving us next week. It's not eFootball 25, it's simply eFootball, right? 
What does that mean? Well, we have that covered in the video, but I would definitely give this a skip for the player of the week and see what comes next week. So as we know, all of these are going to be gone in, in, in Thursday or on Thursday. So we're going to be getting brand new packs for the these the nominating and all this. So it's going to be interesting, man. Let's see what they bring. Let's see what they bring out. And uh, let me know if you spun or not. Please don't forget to subscribe. We're nearly at 50k. Huge giveaway coming at 50k, boys. Let's get it.